We're testing different types of salts and cold processed soap in today's episode of Can She Soap It? In this test, I split one batch of soap into two portions. For one portion, I used iodized table salt, and for the other, I used sea salt. I color coded and scent coded the batch to help me remember which was which. The portion with iodized table salt is colored in Queen's Purple and scented in Rose Gold, both from Brimbleberry. The sea salt is colored in Honey Blush from Nurture Soap Supply and scented in Jamaica Me Crazy from Nature's Garden. I figured if it looked like sand and smelled like the beach, I would remember it had the sea salt in it. I used a scale to weigh and divide the soap so I could make my experiment more consistent than just eyeing it. I added color, fragrance, and salt, blended it all together, and then poured it into the molds. I placed these into the oven to see pop. I don't recommend oven processing 100% coconut oil soaps, but these always do fine for me. Here's a picture of why I don't oven process 100% coconut oil soaps. And this one has sea salt. So let's start with the one that I know how it'll work. So this one doesn't initially feel scratchy. You can feel it a little bit more on your skin, directly on your arm. I don't know why it's not as sensitive to palm to your hands, especially since I have eczema. So this one is the sea salt. It should be a little finer. Okay, if I rub it directly on my skin, I actually can't feel any exfoliation right now. Okay. Now I can feel ooh, a good bit more. That was pretty scrubby too. 
Is it as scrubby as this Himalayan salt? No, it's not as scrubby as the Himalayan salt. That one's still definitely a little more abrasive. Okay. So let's take the table salt. I wish I'd paid attention to the lather as well. I I did it. I don't feel any scrubbiness whatsoever on this. 